Martin here at Time and Space. Here I have Native Instruments Contact 5. I'm just going to show you how to use its Quick Load feature. The idea of the Quick Load bar is to allow you to access all of your contact libraries and contact files all in one handy location. Usually you have to go up to the Libraries tab to access contact libraries and then across to the Files tab to access contact formatted files. This can be a bit aggravating and keep flipping between the two. So that's why Native Instruments made this handy little feature. Now it takes a little bit to set up initially, but once you've got it running, believe me, it does save you a lot of time later on. So if I go across to the libraries page here, you can see I have instruments and multis on some of my libraries. It corresponds to the quick load, multis and instruments. You can also design your own banks. Now, I'm going to create a side video dedicated to making banks, so you might want to check that out after this one. So if I go onto the instruments page, you'll see if I load up so from Symphobia here the instruments I can go in and grab an individual NKI file and drop that onto the instruments page like that or I can go up a level and grab the actual master folder and drop that on there and you'll see the layout inside the folder itself now you've got to make sure that you put NKI files on the instruments tab and on the multis tab, if I go across to here and that's multis here, you'll see NKM files go onto the multis page, like so. Now you can do this from the libraries page, or if I go across to the files here and I look through on this page here for I know it's going to zero G Alien Skies. I'll open this folder here. You see there's a Alien Skies contact instruments folder. Now if I click and drag this in, contact loads it in and works out what's contact information and what isn't and it'll only show you stuff that's actually relevant inside this window. Now I pre warn you, you can't drag things off of the top window, it's only the bottom one. So just make sure you've got it on this screen, not on that one, in order to get it to load in. Now you can see if I open up the Alien Skies folder like so, you can see I've got all my internal layers all ready to go for me there. Make it nice and quick and easy to access all the stuff. Now you can also use a quick load bar from up the top here. You click a little downward arrow here, you go to quick load instruments, and you can load them in from here. Just saving you a lot of time later on having to keep searching backwards and forwards between all your sounds. You can literally come in, either right click down here, bring, pop up the bar here, or you just click downward arrow and load it in. Just quickly before I finish, I just want to add that with inside the quick load bar, this folder structure doesn't actually represent the physical on your hard drive. So if you edit anything inside of here, like delete folder layouts and stuff like that, it's not actually going to delete in the real information. So for instance, this folder here, there's contact instruments, it doesn't need to be called that anymore. So I can just rename it by right clicking and go to rename folder. I can just call this one Alien Skies. Just makes it easier for me later on when I'm searching through off my other bars. You can also right click and add new folders and really make it personal and add you know, all of your strings to a string folder or your guitars to a guitar folder and you know really spend a bit of time and make it easy for you later on. I hope this video has been helpful. If you'd like some more information on how to create your own banks please check out the next video. Otherwise thanks for watching and please check out our site at www.timespace.com